Okay, this is the assembly process for my work that I am sending to uh, the Foundation Benetton Studi Ricerci for the project Imaggio Mundi. So this is something I've uh, 3D printed and these are the standoffs for the canvas. So the screw that goes through there. And the do is that you line that up in the corner. Okay, and this sits on top like, like that. So you've got three legs, there's a reason why I'm making it this way. Okay. Put this on earlier. Okay, that clips on like that, and then you can get your phone, turn the light on, and then stick it behind, so that's why it's offset. So when this gets documented, someone needs to be shoving their phone in it. And this is an image of my intercommunal keyboard, so it has Greek and Turkish letters. Uh, written onto the typical keyboard you get in the UK. And hopefully that doesn't break by the time it gets to Italy. Okay, I didn't like the canvas I was sent, so I decided to design a, another method of hanging, something that I've been thinking about for a little while, using the 3D printer. Essentially, it's an upside down keyhole protector, it's parametric in Fusion 360, and I can adapt it to whatever bit I have for any size of work that I might want to hang. I'll make a separate video about how I 3D modeled this and I'll upload that to my second channel at some point when I have time. already punched the holes but I'll do this again um, this pops into the larger force in the hole and using the carpenter square you line it up with the line and then with the bradle you mark your first hole I think when I make the next version of this I'll try and learn a new software so that I can actually make some mounts for the magnets. Um, I tried to import this into Fusion 360 and this was just too complicated, it was too many meshes. No, not too many meshes. The mesh was just too complicated to 
turn it into an object in Fusion and then edit it. So hopefully I can do that at some point, but for now a bit of gross hot glue will do. Thank you. 